Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is June 8th, 2024 and I'm here to share with you the new kit and add-on stamp sets that are releasing at Everyday Explorers. So I'm going to start with the add-on stamp sets and I did want to say thank you to Everyday Explorers for sponsoring this video. But our first add-on stamp set is called Let's Journal. And I'm really excited for this one. I love the little tidbits here and there, like with the pens. And it says stationary show and tell, making a mess, coffee and journals, let's journal. Such a cute stamp set in that circle with the journal, pen, and coffee cup. So me. So excited for that one. And then we have our kit. So this month's mini kit is called Out This Summer. And the colors in this kit is so good in the stamp set. Oh my gosh. So let's take a look at our mini kit. As always, you have the little booklet with all the info. Let's get this out of here. And so you have some little ideas on how to use it really pretty and I love the colors here. So let's start with the stickers. They are so good. I love this month's stickers and the colors. And then you have reading, uh, album review, new book, reading, TV show review, just out, reading list, to watch list, our four by six paper. Love this one. I'm gonna try to use this one today because it's just so cute. Your two three by fours on the opposite side. Really pretty papers this month. And then we have our four by six stamp set, which is a good one. I'm excited for this one. Love the book stack. And then you have summer reading list, beach read, song of the summer. And then you have the little icons that you can stamp out and my rating. And you also get the extra pocket to add your little notebook in or journal. And this month's notebook cover is so good. I think this is the cutest of them all. I think it's because of the colors. It is just so fresh and summery. I love it. And I even match my nails match the notebook. What the heck? So cute. So the inside is these little folders. And these are going to be fun to fill in. And like you can see here with the examples, you can either add a photo, some journaling, a smaller photo, uh, stamp the date in the little tab, add it, all the photos. So you can kind of play with this. But I really love the idea of it being like little folders or file folders. So I'm excited for this. Let's make something fun in my little mini journal. And I'm thinking I'm going to document my summer reads. I do like like the um, stamp here, the summer reading list. And I love the stack of books. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be working in my little mini journal from Everyday Explorers. And I'm going to be documenting summer reads. These are books that have been on my TBR. And I would like to get to them and start reading them. So I created this collage and it had six books and the seventh book I wanted to add at the top. So basically I wanted this little gap around my tab and my folder. I was thinking I could stamp something there or add a sticker. So I basically created the six book collage and left that seventh aside where I can trim it out and add it to the top of my collage. Once I stuck down my photos, I'm going to be using this beautiful pattern paper on the opposite side. I felt like I can add a title there or just stamp something cute there. Uh, I just thought the books really matched well with that pattern paper. Now I'm going to create an ombre effect with these book spines. I felt like the stack of books were a great little fit on the side of my collage and it filled that space nicely. So I start with this really light pink. I'm going to add a darker pink and in the bottom 
I'm going with like a really dark raspberry color and that way it creates that little ombre effect and I'm going to just stamp it right next to my photos. But when I stamp the book stack, you'll see on the side there was a big gap and I just didn't like that. So I'll end up coming back to this and filling in that gap. So for the opposite side, I wanted to keep it pretty simple and I thought it would be fun if I stamped summer reading list right in the center, but I didn't like it stamped directly on my pattern paper. What I decided to do to fix it is to stamp it on sticker paper and it gives you that white background, which I really love. And all I'm going to do is just trim it out and cover up what I already stamped directly on my paper. It felt like it looked better. I will also go through the sticker sheets and I'm going to try to find a little sticker just to add a little bit of layering to my title. And I really love this one that says BRB I'm reading with the little book. So I add that and it matched perfectly and just added that nice little layer to my title. While I had my sticker sheets out, I just added a word sticker in the tab. And this is where I decide that I'm going to fill in that gap between my stack of books and my photo. And I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did with my ink pads, did that little ombre effect with the stack of books. But this time around, I'm going to do yellow and orange. And I'm only going to ink up three books because obviously the stack of books, the full stack of books won't fit in between those uh, two things. And so it turned out really nice and it did add some yellow to my page. I also wanted to outline the folder. I just felt like you couldn't really see it and you can kind of see the shape of it. So I'm just going to use my pen and ruler. Also going to grab my favorite little floral stamp from Everyday Explorers and stamp it around my title on the opposite side of my page call my layout done. So easy, so simple. I say this all the time. I love Everyday Explorer's little mini journals. They come together so quickly and they're a great way to document all the things that's happening in your life. Anyways, you guys, don't forget today is release day at Everyday Explorers. I'm going to be adding all the links in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.